Hello and welcome to the FL Studio Beginner Tutorials number 2, part 3. Making your first song. I am Simon aka Digod. Uh, and in part 2 and part 1 we learned how to make patterns uh, in the step sequencer and how to combine those in the playlist to make a simple song. Uh, the beginning of our first song with drums and a bass line. So check those two out if you haven't already and also load up that uh, project file you saved when you made this to for this one because we're gonna build on that song when we add this time a melody to it uh, it's gonna be awesome, we're gonna use the FL Keys which is a VST plugin from Fruit Loops uh, which uh, makes you do a piano it's a piano simulator uh, we can almost call it so yeah, let's head into Fruit Loops and see uh, how we managed to do that so um, here we have the song uh, that we made in the earlier tutorials, uh, the drums up here, these five patterns. Uh, we have the bass line right here, this is the same thing that uh, I made in part two. And now we're gonna add another pattern as we have made so many times before. Yay. Rename. Uh, we're gonna call it uh, Piano or whatever, up to. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing as when we added the boo bass to our uh, list of different sounds that we can use. Uh, we're gonna go to channels, channel actually, add one, and then go to uh, FL keys. Okay, uh, and this is uh, a piano simulator, as I told you before. Uh, we can use these uh, arrows up here to choose a pre uh, pre-made. Uh, pre-made uh, sound for the piano. You can like uh, tweak these as you want and uh, make it sound exactly the way you want but I won't go through that now because that will take a while. So we're just gonna either press this one up here, these two arrows, the left and right arrow next to the cross, or we can actually show here uh, in the sample set. But I'm gonna use this until I find a piano that I think sounds okay. <laughs> So I like that one. Um, and now we're gonna do it's like exactly the same thing as with the bass. The only thing we have to think of now is that this um, piano that we had that has to go in line with our bass line. We can't just make a melody that we like and then throw it into the song because it won't be aligned with uh, the bass line that we made earlier. So the melody has to kind of adapt to how the rest of the song is progressing. Um, we can actually take okay. So a new thing to learn now is that when we make this piano, we want to make it at the same time as we listen to the bass. So we're gonna actually take away all the drums, take away all the drums, and the second bass. We're gonna just have one bass line in our song, in the playlist. So one block of bass drum, which is four blocks long, or four, yeah, sixteen beats long. And we're gonna add in this piano, even if it's empty, just add it in there. It's always at least one block long when you add them to the playlist. So just add that in there. Uh, it's empty right now. And we're gonna fill it in at the same time as time progresses. Now, a really good thing to know when making this is that you can use the space bar to play and pause, pause, play and stop. So it's really useful later. You will notice why while we make the melody. So go ahead and go to the uh, e piano, it's called from EFL Keys, the channel that we opened uh, just before. Uh, press the piano roll, and here we are again in the piano roll. Mm. Now, if we remember, uh, a good thing to know is uh, what keys we used for the bass line. For example, we used the bass line, uh, my first note was a C, this one here. Okay, here that's the same. If I play the bass line in the background. It's also important to note that you have the song uh, selected now so that we play what's here and not here. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna start off actually by placing in a C. And then I'm gonna just, I mean, now this is when create creativity comes into place. Uh, now you can actually fool around as much as you like, as long as it sounds good with the, with the bass line. So I'm gonna just go ahead and like...
so I think that sounds okay. It, it doesn't s sound really um, bad with the bass. If we would like put uh, make a melody by itself, say I make this exact same melody, but I make them not with at the same points as the bass. I'm gonna actually put it on one of these darker. Now uh, we're gonna see the difference between placing the exact same melody up here and down here. If I would make it not uh, at the same bass as the bass line. <laughs> put it at the same. So this one I put here, it's the same note as the bass line starts with in this uh, block, in these four beats. Then this one starts at the same as the bass line does in this block, and so on in every one. And then I just made this one, the last three, I just reversed these three, so I like put that up and that up. See? The same here as there. Um, now we're gonna add this to the song by just it pretty much is there already with the bass. Now I want now we have the basic blocks of a song. We have a bass line, we have a melody, we have a kick drum, some claps, some hits, some snare, some drums to work with. And we're gonna actually make a song now. Uh, we're gonna put this together and finish our song. We're also gonna render the song so we can listen to it. I'm actually gonna add my kicks number two on the fourth block all the time, like this. Uh, the claps, I'm gonna add them here. Uh, want the hats to come in there, I think. Um, the snares, no, this is exact, you know, you can tweak this as you want, put them in wherever you want, uh, make the song as you feel like. Uh, the bass is gonna be all the way, but the piano is gonna get in, like here. So, this is uh, the song I made for this tutorial. Um, your first song is going to be something like this. Uh, if you have followed me as I done it, the bass is going to end here, and the snare is going to end there, and the hats is going to follow through like that. Okay, so I'm done with uh, the song. A really simple song. Uh, let's see how it sounds all through. <laughs> This doesn't sound any professional, you know, like uh, something you could put up on YouTube and really, uh, what, what to say, um, it doesn't sound really good actually, but it's still a song and it's working. You can call it a song, it's just not some crap randomly put together and uh, yeah, you, you get what I mean. So uh, when you have tweak the song, I mean you can go in, you can add edit, if you don't feel your melody works just go in here and just press uh, uh, this pattern here and you will get directly into the piano roll so you can adjust it if you, will, if you like um, same with the bass, with the drums you can fool around with this as much as you want, perhaps you want to add another piano pattern, you can just right click it and go clone select it and then tweak it and put it in um, just use everything you learned in this tutorial uh, the three parts together and add things, f move them around, uh, adjust the melodies, adjust the bass line, uh, tweak around with it, play around with it, play around with it as much as you like. And then I'm gonna also show you how to save the song as an mp3 file because when you save a song you don't actually use the save as here, or save for that matter. This only saves the project file, the song in Fruity Loops, how it's made with the patch and all that kind of stuff. I'm actually gonna go ahead and save this now. Uh, and we're gonna go to export actually. Export and we're gonna choose mp3 file. mp3 file. Uh, we're gonna choose a direction where we wanna put it. I'm just gonna put it in project. You can put them in whatever folder you feel like. I'm gonna name it uh, uh, like for example D guard first song. Like that. File format's gonna be mp3. I have this in um, Swedish now so 
might not look exactly the same. I'm gonna press save, probably it's gonna stand there, but now it's spara. Uh, and we're gonna get to the rendering. Uh, and this is not as hard as it looks. P pretty much you can keep everything as it is. Um, what you wanna watch out for, if you notice that when you save a song, it's a bit distorted, it doesn't sound like the song did in Fruit Loops when you heard it. You can actually go and ahead and increase the bitrate, which is gonna increase the quality, but increasing the bitrate to max doesn't necessarily increase the quality and you want to keep this one as low as possible uh, without uh, changing how the music sounds so I'm just gonna keep it to 192 that's what I always use when I render my music pretty much uh, if you want it to loop you can actually make uh, uh, cut reminder or leave my wrap reminder just test out different ones see which loops the best for you uh, WAV, this is if you save in uh, the WAV, <coughs> WAV format. Quality is uh, not for MP3, I don't know, I think it's for WAV as well. And these ones you can pretty much ignore all these. So we're just gonna go ahead and press start. I'm gonna see here it renders, it actually says what uh, block it's in, bar, it's called there. That's what it's called, bars, not blocks, bars. Uh, and yeah, there were a song, I'm just gonna find it now on my hard drive. Uh, wherever you save that song it will be a f mp3, MP3 uh, file now with this song in it. Make sure you didn't have anything selected like this like you have double clicked up here just to play a part of the song so double click up here and make sure it's all black so the whole song is rendered. Also make sure that pattern isn't selected. If, if pattern is selected it will only save the pattern as an mp3. So there you go. Uh, you have made your first song in Fruity Loops and uh, hope to see you later in more advanced tutorials on how to add uh, more fancy sounds and that kind of stuff. So yeah, see you later.